Thank you so much for watching me. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today is the 22nd of the 5th, 2022, which means today is Tarot Day. It is a cold, wintry day here. We've had rain now non-stop. This is our third day of continual non-stop rain. So let's get into what all this means. The weather. Is it natural or is it unnormal? You guys be the decider here, okay? Because there's a lot coming out that is making us think. Is this real? Is this fabricated? Okay, there is so much now coming out. And let me just go there, guys. Let's just surmise here for a moment about a person who is a liar. <clears throat> I've studied lying, okay, part of my PhD as well as psychology that I've studied. And when people lie, they have to defend that false reality. They will continue to lie more to hide what was originally said or done. So as people now are around the world are using critical thinking, they're using their intuition more because this veil is now coming down, right? So what is occurring is that these people who were liars have now got to go far worse to hide what they originally did, okay? So what is occurring this week is where we're now seeing this occurring. So how do we sit back, take control of who we are, stay in our own vibrational state so these lies don't affect us? That is the biggest thing that I'm getting in my messages, okay? So today's spread, <laughs> she's actually said don't do the ruins last today. I'm going to do the ruins before I do my own tarot card because this is a doozy. So stay around and listen to what this card is because it's a doozy. So the first one that I pulled from Louise Benton's range of her lovely cards, I'll put it up if you do want to go over and get yourself a pack of her cards. Here is the artwork for the today's card that fell out. So. <clears throat> beautiful artwork she designs and it's the shadow card so let's get in and start reading the shadow card in our souls we hold the memory of all the pain of many lifetimes let your tears fall the collective dream that we all share thoughts and feelings that we are we that are hard to bear witness now the decent desecration the emptiness and degradation degradation standing desolate on a hollow ground in a soulless void where no context can be found <laughs> funny how I just mentioned lying hey because I didn't read this before I started the spread the wisdom of our ancestors denied and neglected <clears throat> Our minds fragmented and inject, infected, infected. Wow. Divided by the powers that be. Divisions where alliances should be. How much more suffering do we need to endure? The deceptions and lies we choose to ignore. <clears throat> I'm going to stop right there, guys, because... Whenever I do a spread, I go and do my singing bowl and I calm myself down and I get myself into my good, happy space of my vibrations, okay? I come into here and I talk to her and I say, I'm going to do today's tarot spread, so this is my intention. What cards do you want me to pull first? And the first one that I saw was this one, right? Um, or should I say the pack of Louise Benton's? So I pulled the card, I put it down. I don't read the card. <clears throat> then I said, which one next? And she said, the little lovey-dovey card. So we're going to go to my little lovey-dovey card next. Then she said, do the ruins before 
my tarot deck. So I like doing the ruins on live so you see how I get my stone. So I've got my pack here. So I've got this one, then I've got this one, then I'm going to pull that, and then we've got this one. She's been telling me for the last three days all about the lies and deceit and how they have to play on this lies, okay? Okay, if you know anyone that's ever lied and let's just say they say um, they went out somewhere when they really didn't go there, right? So then you throw out some um, um, suggestions Oh, you couldn't possibly have been there because someone saw you over there. Oh, they have to lie further. Oh, no, that wasn't me. I was actually over there, which is the lie. Um, you might have seen somebody else that looked like me. Or, oh, yeah, that's right. I did go over there for five minutes, but then I was over back there. So their lie becomes this huge web, right? That's what we're seeing now with what's going on around the planet. This web and it's funny how web is a three-letter word starting with W. Think of another three-letter word that starts with W. And then you add a H. And then you add an O. A certain treaty is about to be signed. God help us. That's all I'm going to say. So what do we do with this information? Okay. We stand in the shadow. So let me just go back to where I was the deceptions and lies we choose to ignore what has been hidden we can no longer hide I let our oceans of tears rise and subside claim your sovereignty and let go of blame now that's a big one stop blaming others for what you're going through yourself okay we've all got to be self-sufficient we've all got to be in our own authority okay Heal humanity of its collective shame. Okay? We are not, we are all part of everything that ever has been. Together we've created the strangest of dreams. In essence, it's true, we are all the same. Each of us navigating creation's cryptic game. Okay? On this journey of separation, in time we will find that there is only one. Our souls intertwined the story of earth we continue to write knowing the darkness so we may treasure the light I see beyond the veils of deception that's what the card says so I'll put it up just in case you do want to pause the screen so let me just go back through this a little bit because you know I was in heaven for like oh, five years when I died back in 2001 and I saw how everything is one everyone has the if someone thinks something everybody knows it because it's just collective um, consciousness is what it occurs by right so as soon as someone has like a thought oh I want to go and become a dog because we can't turn into any animal right um, everybody else knows what they're going to do before they actually do it okay so when we're in the shadows and we're, we're, it's like we're on a waiting game where all these people in authority around the planet are making all these decisions that affect us. But how do we get through that and survive as sovereignty? Ha, huh, because the word was in there. So let me just go back and find the word sovereignty. <clears throat> where did I see the word sovereign? It was in there, guys. It was in now oh, claim your sovereignty and let go of blame so this is where we stop hating this is where we stop accusing and asking all those why questions why are they doing that why can't I go to the shops why 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 stop the whys guys stop asking the why questions and replace it with what can I do okay I personally was here locked down for a few weeks last year. I spent that time productively. I didn't just sit on the couch watching all the daytime soaps like a lot of other people would do. I got productive, okay? I thought, I can't leave the house, so what can I do here? I sorted out my clothes. I sorted out cupboards. 
I did this. I, I went out into the garden. I did things to improve my life that these others, through their lies and deceit, they can't change that. Okay? So sit there and think, right, all these things are happening. What can I do where, one, we don't think about it because the more we think about what they're doing, the more energy we are putting into it occurring. So stop thinking about them. Start thinking about yourself and your freedom. Start thinking about where you want to go for a holiday. Start thinking about your favorite clothes that you want to wear out someday. Okay? So that is the shadow card. We are in this shadow of all this lies and deceit. But I tell you what, some great people do their greatest work at midnight. They get up and in the darkness of the shadows, they come up with their most intelligent thoughts. Okay, so use that piece of wisdom today. The next one, my little lovey-dovey card, it says, love enjoys doing things together. So go out and find your tribe. If you believe in a certain thing, go out and find those people who also think on the same wavelength. Now, what's a wavelength? That's our frequency. That's our energy. That's our vibrations. Okay? So go out there and find somebody who, or some people, okay, plural, go out there and start getting socially active with these people even if it's just a zoom message that you go into okay i've got a friend right now today on sunday the 22nd of, the, of may she's on a zoom call with about 25 other people all around the planet all telling each other how great they are okay because we need to know that we are special we need to know that we are the best versions of ourselves, right? Okay, so go out there and find your tribe because love enjoys doing things together. If you like painting, you know, and you just sit at your house and you're doing your little easel work on your um, blank canvas, Go out there and join a group where others, we're lifting up that energy and collectively we are creating this good positive vibe that is going to destroy all this lies and deceit of these ones that are doing it to us, okay? Now, I'm going to go to this one last. It's a doozy. So now I'm going to call out. I wish to get a ruin stone that represents what the people of Earth need for the next week. Oh, gosh, these stones are cold this morning. It is freezing here in Brisbane today. They said last night it was 13 Celsius, but I don't think it was. I think it was only like 8 or 6 last night. I had heat packs in the bed. All right, so which card, which ruin stone? Oh, okay, it's this one over here. Oh, I, I, I just get this feeling of where to go to. It's like, go that way, go that way. Okay, uh, uh. Oh, it's you. It's you. Oh. <clears throat> I hope I'm holding him right because he looks like that. I don't think it's that way. I don't know. So let's go over to my book and let's find this one because this one could be a different couple of ways. Okay, so it looks like a Z. <clears throat> it looks like a Z. It's not that one. Oh, it's this one. Okay. All right. So let me just hold him up. There he is. And he's this one. That's him, isn't it? Yep, that's him. Okay, so let's have a look at this. This one's called I Was, and it's the U Tree. Okay, it's the yew tree. The most important tree to Nordic people. The longest living tree species. Oh, okay. Having very hard cross-grained wood, it was used to fashion longbows. A symbol of protection, longevity and regeneration. 
So straight away, a word that just stuck out there to me is the longest living tree species. These guys have the endurance. These guys are the strength. These guys are our inner tuition to make things last longer in the future. Okay, look how many times over the past couple of years they said, oh, we're going to bring this in. And then it comes in for a week and then they say, oh, you don't have to do that anymore. So there's no um, transparency for one, but there's no stability. And what these, what this stone represents is that stability, okay, that longevity. So let's go there. It's got three dot points. A reminder of the value of things in life that are enduring. Love and friendship, loyalty and family. So don't just think about the last two years, guys, and what's going to be for the next two years, because I know the next two years are going to go... We thought the last two years were bad. <laughs> that was paradise compared to what's coming next year. Okay? Okay, email me if you want more information on that one. Okay? Okay, so reminder of the value of the things in life that are enduring. We are still alive. Hello. Thank you. Okay? Even if it's our second life, <laughs> like me. Okay? <laughs> oh, it is true. Okay? Second dot point. A wake-up call if these things have been neglected and need more attention. So that's where we go back over to this one. Love and joy is doing things together. So if you've been neglecting yourself... Um, let's just say you are an artist, okay, you like your painting, and you think, oh man, I haven't painted in a year, get out there and find your tribe, okay, go out there and do things together with others in that same mental vibrational level, okay, on that same wavelength, okay, and the last dot point is a signal to be grateful for the things that we have, there you go. So I love how all these stones, the ruins and the cards, they all blend in together every week. Okay, so this is a reminder. Don't listen to what's going on on the news and in politics and the WHO and all this other stuff. Concentrate on us. Okay, because even though we are in the shadows... That's when a lot of people do their own best work, right? You put me into this office. I'm in my office now. I shut the door. I do my best work in here. It's where I think. It's where I do my readings on people. Okay? All right. So we've done our ruin. So now let me go over to the one you've been waiting for. <sighs> Who here looks at numbers and you say, oh, there's a secret message in the number itself. Because this card, before I even show it, it's number 20. X, X. What does X, X mean? X marks the spot. X is where you find stuff, right? And this is double whammy because it's two X's, okay? But I will go there because today's card is judgment. Judgment. So let's have a look at the judgment card and how it relates to all the other things in the spread. Okay, let's go there. I'm reading it straight from my book, right? X, X. <whistles> Doozy of a number. Okay, judgment is known as the karmic card. As you sow, so shall you reap. Those who are living in a lowered vibration now, and I'm going to go there because I'm seeing this. I know some people who are so angry, all they do is criticize and judge everything. They're whinges. You know the whinges out there now? Their lives, the ones who I know personally, their lives are going down the toilet tube. And I'm honest here. Okay, so look at yourself. Look at where your life is going. If you're going forward and you're still working and you're making ends meet, even if it's week to week, you're still getting there, right? Okay, but if things are really going bad for you at this point, really consider why. 
because it is no longer the gray area we've got the good side we've got the other side okay we've got the lower vibrational people and then we've got the higher vibrational people okay and what is happening this veil is dissipating and it's getting out so the people on one side of the fence are now seeing what it's like on the other and so likewise with these ones they're seeing what life is like for the others and that's why i think right now some people i'm not close friends with them but it is funny how you hear stories about people and you know we're looking at people who are spiteful they're greedy they're materialistic they um judge and accuse sarcastic okay sarcastic people these are all negative behaviors and their lives are all going down that toilet tube people who are caring generous kind understanding forgiving i hope i'm in that mix because i strive to be there our lives are going forward we're seeing the beauty around us okay and one of the things that i've just noticed with me personally is how many animals are coming to me this week okay i'll just go there with a little side thing before i keep going with the judgment card just this morning i was sitting at the back and my lady her she said to me take out the rubbish and i thought really it's raining the bag's only half full i don't really need to take it out yet but she said no take out the rubbish so i came back inside my house i picked up the garbage bag and i thought well i've got to open the front door and go to the wheelie bin out the front right as i opened the front door i screamed because it sort of shocked me but right there on my front doorstep is a saint bernard dog Oh, look now it was only just taken this morning i don't know today at 7 30 a.m so i don't know if you can read the timestamp, but it says today at 7 30 a.m saint bernard dog it's like beethoven came for a visit now i've lived in this street for seven years and i have never seen a saint bernard look there's another photo of him he's right at my front door he absolutely scared the willies out of me so why did he pick my house to go to and why did she want me to see him we look at these situations that arise right because i was sitting at the back i had no intention to open my front door today i would never have seen that dog and he stayed there for about oh half an hour because i shoot him down the street trying to find his owner okay well we were walking around the street looking this and i was yelling out who lost beethoven <laughs> you can't take me anywhere guys seriously who lost beethoven <laughs> they need to put his name on his collar don't they okay so let's get back to the judgment card the results of the seeds you have previously planted and your past efforts are now being rewarded as a card depict oh okay okay oh uh, yeah i know i know see she's talking to me right now she said wait stop you're gonna say this okay i'll tell you what i just heard she said elaborate so let me just go back the results of the seeds that you have now previously planted and your past efforts are now being rewarded so let's go there we've got the good side we've got the uh -uh side right those that are on that uh -uh side whatever they've done in their past that created negativity sarcasm lies because the lies are really obvious this yet this week right all that past effort you're now being rewarded who knows somebody who cheated to get a job and they've just got the sack that's the karma of what's going to be coming this week okay so think about the person that you are and start healing that now because it's even in here um healing humanity of its collective shame it's in here okay it's just about just up here somewhere where i just read that from okay so we do have the capacity within us to heal that karmic imbalance of our lives okay 
this is a big spread today, guys, because it's all about self-analysis, working out who we are, who we want to be, without all these other authority people saying, you got to do this. Okay, so let me get back to this. The results of the seeds that you have previously planted and your past efforts are now being rewarded. I try and be a good person. Why do you think I just woke up this morning and she said, go outside, and there's a damn St. Bernard sitting on my front doorstep. I've been here seven years. I've never seen that dog anywhere before. So why today did she want me to see a dog? I'm going to have to go and work out that one. Do what is the spiritual meaning of a St. Bernard because he could have been an angel who came to my door to give me a message. So we cannot ignore these things, okay? Okay, as a card depicting resurrection. Here we go with revelations in the Bible, if you've read it, okay? It indicates renewal and revival. Dormant matters coming back to life. Now, one thing that has happened to me this week... When I'm going to sleep, when our subconscious is just coming over us and we think about all these crazy wild things, okay? One thing that's been coming back to me is past memories of when I was a kid, right? Between 1970 to 1985. I'm having a lot of memories coming back to me. Um, I don't like going too close into my personal life. There are things with my family this week, okay? But um, I just don't want to talk about that. But I am, all these dormant things from my past are coming back into my mind, so I've got to heal those, okay? With the judgment card, it is possible to make a new start. Yes! But it is important to take stock before positively moving forward again. So when we take stock of our lives, guys, we sit there by ourselves. Usually in the shadows, we're by ourselves. Self-analysis time, okay? Okay? Sit there, work it out, what it is that you want to be. Who do you want to be in the future? And then go out and find the people who are doing it already, okay? Then we use this one. What is our rock of foundation, okay? Who are we? Find out who you were when you were a kid. Go back into that. What did you want to be when you were a teenager? Go back into that, okay? All right, there is a general feeling of rejuvenation and health matters show improvement. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, this card represents a time to be happy with new beginnings afoot. What a way to end a reading. Thank God it's a positive one. Okay, so this week, guys, there is a lot of lies and deceit coming out. They've got to keep pushing it. Okay, they've got to keep lying to us and creating all these new lies to hide the fact of what's really going on, okay? Don't listen to it. That's the message for today. Look within, find your own answers, and make yourself happy. Don't rely on others to make you happy. We do it by ourselves. We create it within and it shoots out of us like a pheromone and absorbs to others and then they're in our energy as well and true happiness and love will always win the war talk to you soon guys bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.